breaking generational witchcraft and cleansing your entire family timeline generational witchcraft generational spells generational curses we see it when it when it's moving from one generation to the next like you see alcohol addiction that goes from one generation to the next your great great grandfather father had it then your great grandfather had it then your father had it now you have it and now your kids have it or when we see a sickness or disease moving from one generation to the next like cancer your grandmother had it then your mother had it then you have it and then the, the child has it that's a generational thing that's a generational uh, curse when we see that it's moving for or it could be poverty so it's not that these people are lazy they're working very hard but they're always in financial poverty it's a generational thing it's a generational curse today we're going to break the generational witchcraft and cleanse your entire family timeline then let's start here there is a god who can heal you of all sorts of sicknesses diseases all kinds of infirmities be it mental psychosis schizophrenia i have seen god lift psychosis somebody who has, was on psychotic drugs for years lift psychosis off of them heal them from that and it was gone in an instant i have seen god take broken ribs and bring the ribs back together you can literally, literally see it with the spiritual eyes and hear it with the spiritual ears healed in an instant in in minutes i have seen god do that so there is a god who can heal you of all kinds of infirmities whether it's a, a heart issue a kidney issue a cancer a, a hiv whatever it is it is his will to do that there is a god who can deliver you from all sorts of demonic bondages a demonic bondage is when you're yoked to something you're bound to something that is demonic in other words you're yoked to it you're you're bound to it you can't you can't be free from it something that's demonic and it can be the 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 bondage of addiction addiction is a demon it's called the spirit of addiction it could be the bondage of lust uh lust is a demon it's called the spirit of lust and we're bound to these things and jesus christ we saw jesus he was going to the people and he would command the demon come out of them and they would be free they would be Im immediately delivered there is a god who can deliver you from all sorts of demonic bondages there is a god who can break any and every generational witchcraft generational curse generational spell there is a god who can save you and his name is jesus christ he is the name above every name he is seated in the heavenly realms at the right side of god the father above principalities he is the name above every name above every principality every dominion every power every ruler of darkness every spiritual host of wickedness in the heavenly realms jesus is above all of these positions all of these names he is above the name above every name in his name there is power that can heal in his name there is power that can deliver you from demonic ties demonic yokes demonic bondages in his name there is a power that can break every single satanic covenant ritual every single witchcraft every single curse every single spell the bible tells us in first corinthians corinthians chapter 2 verse 24 christ the power of god and the wisdom of god christ the the power of god and the wisdom of god christ is not a power from god it's the power of god itself christ is the very power of god that flows directly from the throne of god He's, he is the power of God as well, uh, itself. And today you will see the power of God working in your life. Today you will see the hand of God upon you. And it is by the authority of God, it is the authority of God, the power of God that flows directly from the throne of God that empowers me to do these things. It is not by my might, not by my power, it's by the power of the Holy Spirit in me. For by myself I could do nothing. It is the God's authority that empowers me to do what I do. And so in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand here in the name of Jesus. I stand under the authority of Jesus and I declare that today every generation of witchcraft will be broken off of you. And your entire timeline, family timeline, ancestral timeline will be cleansed in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, let your power 
rain down on your people, whichever location they are in, wherever they are watching from, even if they're watching replay five years from now, I know time and space does not, does not limit you because you created time and space and therefore you live outside of time and space. And I pray that your power rain down over your people. It is God's will to heal you and therefore there will be healing. It is God's will to deliver you and therefore there will be, there will be deliverance. It is God's will to break generational witchcraft and therefore you will be set free from these things today because it is the will of God. God is just looking for vessels that execute his, his will. And today there is a vessel that is executing the will of God, that is executing the power of God, that is releasing the kingdom of God. And so the power of God will come upon you today. Know that and expect that. And so in the name of Jesus Christ and by the power of the eternal covenant, I break every generational witchcraft off of you now. I cancel and destroy every generational curse and every generational spell. Let that be cancelled now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare that these things have no more power over you. And in the name of Jesus Christ, you are free from those things in Jesus' name. It is God's will to set you free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I destroy every evil altar empowered by darkness and I command that these altars must be cast down now in Jesus name every covenant that you or your ancestors may have made that is working because the altar is still in place. Let these covenants be destroyed. Let these altars be cast down. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that these things have no more power. And in the name of the Holy One, you are free from these things. You are released from these things. I disassociate you from these things completely. And as we are speaking, God is working in your life. God is restoring you mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. God is bringing healing into your heart, healing into your soul. Not only these things are being broken, this generational curse stuff are, are, being, are, are breaking. God is also working to restore you. He doesn't just break these things and leave you there. He works to restore you. So know that that is also taking place within you, within your family, in your lives right now. Because God is so faithful. Just the fact that you know that it's God's will to heal. It's God's will to, to um, deliver you from demonic bondages. It's God's will to break that witchcraft. Just the fact that you know that it is God's will. And a vessel obedient vessel of God is sitting here executing the will of God. You need to know that you know that you know that it is being done now as we speak. In the name of Jesus, these chains are being loosed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God is faithful. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break the power of every herb given to you by herbalists. And witch doctors and I cancel every ritual performed over your life by these people and I cancel and completely destroy every spoken word that these people have spoken over you I declare that they have no more power over you and in the name of Jesus Christ I disassociate you from that and you are free in the name of Jesus I break every power of cursed food of or cursed objects that you have ever been attached you attached to you and your family i declare that these things have no more power over you over you they can no longer bring confusion into your life or into your family's lives they can no longer influence you in any way and i declare that in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god you are free thank you lord jesus christ 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I disassociate you from every evil ancestral covenant. Every evil bloodline activity, I disassociate you from that in the name of Jesus Christ. It could be that your ancestors, the Bible tells us in the Old Testament that they allowed their babies to pass through the fire. These are demonic rituals that they were involved in and they were involved in their babies in that as well. I disassociate you from any evil ancestral covenants, any evil bloodline activities. I disassociate you from that in Jesus Christ. Maybe you had ancestors that were witches. I know a lot of us did. And the, the rituals they were doing, the covenants they were making, the oaths they were giving. Okay, unless Jesus comes in and stops that and it continues from one generation to the next. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I completely disassociate you from that. And I declare that these things, these spells, these curses, these covenants, these rituals, they, these oaths, they have no more power over you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are free from that. And in the name of Jesus, I cancel every contract, every agreement of death and suicide. Maybe you've spoken words such as, I wish I were dead. Well, these are things of the dark side. And then the enemy will try to come to you with these words, these thoughts. And if you grab onto that and agree with that, yeah, my life is hard. I do wish I, my life is hard. I do wish I was dead. I wish I don't wake up tomorrow. I'm not good enough. And you're coming into agreement with the side of darkness. When you come into agreement with the side of darkness, it's like opening the door and saying, come in, I give you right to do everything that you have spoken. Suddenly you find yourself, you're passing through, you're, you're walking across a bridge and you get the thoughts to jump off and commit suicide. Because you're coming into agreement with death and suicide. But it could also be suicide moving from one generation to the next. Again, that's a ge generational cursing. So I cancel the agreement of death and suicide. I forbid these demons from confusing you i declare that these things have no more power over you let them be broken now in the name of jesus and i speak healing complete freedom over your life throughout your entire timeline i speak life over you you shall live and not die and declare the works of the lord all the days of your life in the name of jesus christ of nazareth the name that is above every other name thank you lord jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy, I completely break every demonic pattern and every demonic habit in your life. Let that be destroyed now. Let these chains be loosed. I declare freedom over you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are free because Jesus Christ has set you free. It could be a demonic pattern such as laziness. The Bible tells us, Go to the ant, you sluggard, in the Old Testament. God doesn't want you to be lazy, especially spiritually lazy. It could be a demonic pattern or, or way of thinking. It could be a demonic habit like gluttony, the way you're eating. Gluten is also sin. It could be a demonic habit like drug addiction or sex addiction or any kind of addiction. You know, these are demonic patterns, demonic habits. So, you know, whatever it is, let these be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command these chains loose, be loosed now in Jesus name. And I declare they have no more power over you. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are free. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful, faithful and true. I cancel every enchantment and divination made upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let these be broken now. So it could be enchantments or divinations that came in through the door of psychics, came in through the door of channelers, of mediums, of tarot card readers, of Ouija boards, or things spoken over you by witch doctors or witches or wizards or in, in the new age spirituality. They're always speaking, speaking, speaking things over you. But new age is witchcraft in itself. It could be things spoken over you by um, spirit guides or when they say in shamanism, your animal totem or let the spirit lead you or the Kundalini spirit and they speak things over you and they're burning the sage. And these are just an example. Or it could even go back, you know, to your ancestors when they were, they were witches, they were making divinations, they were making enchantments, they were telling the future out of coffee cups or tea leaves or things like that, speaking enchantments over you, speaking divinations over you. 
And unless Jesus comes in to break that, it's, it's, it, it moves from one generation to the next because one generation to the next because the demonic doesn't just stop because that person's died then a new generation is born it doesn't just stop if there's nothing to stop that evil it goes it goes it goes satan doesn't want to leave okay and the only one that can stop that evil is jesus christ himself he's the only one that took these things on his body and crucified them put them to death and then rose on the third day he's saying i have power over these things my child call to me and i'm the one that's going to break these things whether jesus directly or jesus directly through a vessel an obedient vessel a disciple that the disciples will go into the people laying hands on them in the name of jesus be healed or commanding the demons in the name of jesus come out of them you see, it's not them, it's not us doing it, it's the power of God in us that's doing it, that's, that's doing these things. It's the authority of God in us that is doing these things, that permits us to do what we're doing. It's all God. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I declare that you be free now from any enchantment and any divination made upon your life, any ritual, oath, covenant, involved, attached, either to you, your family, your entire family timeline, going all the way back to ancestors, I completely cleanse that family timeline and I declare that in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be full freedom, full restoration, full healing now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is the one that sets you free. Because it is his will to set you free. And whom the son says free is free indeed. This video is going to be long so I will do it part one and part two. So this is part one.